In Rust, we build structures to protect ourselves and our items. We build large walls and traps to keep the enemies out. But what if we did the opposite? What if we encouraged people to come to our base and rewarded them for their actions? What if we created our own bosses that carried keys to give access to special loot rooms? This is the story of how I created my own Rust Monument. Recently on My Rust Monument. Yeah, I mean, I think this could be it. I think that's, that's the home. <laughs> <laughs> Run! I'm getting hit. Killed him! They're all dead! All dead. Good job, dude. Clean, clean that shit up, bro. Okay. Alright, all or nothing. <sighs> <sighs> and we are secure, ladies It, it works. <laughs> Alright, let's get back and... I'm gonna give you one of the beds real quick. Yeah. Just drop your shit in the Dropbox. I'm gonna start just do -do 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 -do, just upgrading shit. Fast building like Alex the Pro. <laughs> Fast as I can, shit. <laughs> build, build, build. Well, don't draw attention. Dude, they're already shooting me. Let's go. I gotta pee badly, so. <laughs> Not gonna ruin that epic, fast building montage. It's pretty cool. What the hell? We're probably gonna build around here. I'm gonna participate in this. I'm dead. I, I headshot him. Nice. Sorry, buddy. What were you saying? Uh, is this a vending machine monument? Uh, yeah. It's pretty much just gonna be a supermarket, and we're gonna be running events in here and stuff. Next couple days. Let's go. Mm -hmm. oh, it's cool, bro. I love, I love the shop. Thank you so much. Yeah, bury it in a corner. Yeah, I'm gonna put it right here. Yeah. And without further ado, I present the supermarket. See if you can jump up there, kid. All right, now that we got the supermarket up and running, let's break down the details. So the plan was to recreate a monument and run events here. I placed it strategically on the map so I can fill it with resources throughout the day. I created an electric jump puzzle that opened a door for some extra loot. You had to be quick though, or you could get stuck. I also sold some weapons for a cheap price. Randomly throughout the day, I would PVP and anyone I killed, I would place their items in the loot room. When I roleplayed as the NPC of the monument, I carried a key so that when killed, the person could collect all the items. And of course, I created an information board so that everyone knew what would be going on. Before we officially open, we had to do a soft open to, you know, test everything out. And, well, the jump puzzle seemed maybe a bit too difficult. Oh man. the low wall to get on it. This is the test to see if. <laughs> oh man, don't say anything. The IQ of us playing. Alec. There you go, Alec. Come on now. 
got this. You have to crouch jump. Like when you jump, you gotta like crouch jump. <laughs> this part is gonna be impossible. Uh, oh, so uh. Oh, well, there you go. <laughs> <laughs> Buy your loot up there. There's also a button that leads to a puzzle. I feel like that button's gonna be tough. We come back five hours later, the kid's still trying. Come on, man. <laughs> come on, Alec, you got this. Alex, we're gonna be here on, for a long got time. This. How is anyone gonna do this? I don't know. Without, I hope. I think we do need to make it a little easier. Well, I need to slide this light. Hey, I did it. Nice, dude. Congrats. I hit him once. He actually did it. <laughs> Good job, Alec. Alright, well, it's doable even with the someone who can't, doesn't even know how to jump on this first. <laughs> like, <laughs> that fell right? off the fridge. Like yeah, that. if this kid can do it, anyone can. <laughs> did you record that? Yeah, of course I did. <laughs> oh, perfect. You got the best supermarket on the server. The next day, we were ready to open to the public, but of course, things didn't run as smoothly as we planned. This is Rust, of course, on a live vanilla server, and sometimes it can get bleak. I'm going, to the here. I'm going across the street into the trees. Dude, I 2 by one got raided. Oh, really? Yeah. Bad. Dude, I spawned in it and the entire roof got taken off. Someone for you, I could have it. Okay. We have no grenades, no upkeep. That is a yikes. I fucked that up. So we only have what's in the city. Damn, I fucked that up. I had a guy. Coffee can. Oh. With our original base gone, we had to farm our gear and components all over again. Surprisingly, nobody seemed to no be in the no. area. Yeah. I feel bad, man. I don't know what you're going to do for the oh, video. Bro, it'll come. Don't worry. Unexpectedly, Alex had to get offline. Alex, you there? Alex, you there? In this large world, I seem to be the only person playing. I decided to log off and returned a couple hours later with worse news. Oh, the door exploded. Oh, fucking raided again. God damn it. <laughs> Story of my life. And when finally people started showing up in the area. Ah, uh, I fucked that up. I kept screwing up. I fucked that up so bad. Ha <laughs> <laughs> I knew that if I was patient, eventually I would catch a break. Whoa! I had a feeling this was it. All I had to do was get into position and strike at the right moment. Wait, what's that sound? Oh no, no! Not an epic damn, fail. I fucked that up so bad. God damn it. Hello and welcome to Epic Fail. I'm your host, Cognito. On this show, we just enjoy going over those epic fails you all just love to watch. Damn, I fucked that up so bad. Thanks for watching, everyone. Tune in next week for more epic fails. And don't forget, never trust the naked. It was getting late, and I had no good footage. My PvP skills were garbage, and I was getting really tired and frustrated. I was about to log off when 
I came across one of my neighbors. Oh, there's a guy over there. You know that big old base, uh, uh north? I think it is. Oh no, it's west, 280. Yeah, big with the lights north. and everything. Yep, that's my base. Oh, okay, cool. Well, uh, let me get your name here. Okay, nice. Yeah, I'm over here. Um, I'm just I'm gonna be running some events in the next couple days, just trying to get everything ready here. But uh, I'll be on at this time, pretty Have much. You had any problems lately? No, I mean everyone's been pretty much cool. I hope this is not a trap. I mean, no, 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 it's not. But yeah, I gotta I like jump. How you have this man. So yeah, I got a jump puzzle in this one this time. <laughs> His name was Bears.ez question mark. He was curious about the supermarket, and I gave him the rundown of what I was doing. I took the chance to trust him and show him around. It was a risk, but even your friends were strangers once, right? Dude, I'm gonna be honest, this is pretty sick. Thank you, I appreciate it. Ooh. Oh, hello. Hey, look, comrades. Привет, ребята. What a my fat big booty. You a threat? I mean, I take him out. I'll open the door. Ready? Three, two, one. <gasps> oh my god. He's <laughs> got some scrap for you. Nice. Alright, I'm gonna come back. You want like a SAR, Tommy? Like, what gun do you want? Cause I can get you whatever gun. Um, I mean, yeah, one of those would be nice. Um, like I said, anything, dude. Honestly, I it, it don't matter to me. Like, you know, eventually someone else is gonna get it, cause that's the point what I'm doing over here. So, but yeah, donations would be awesome to put anything inside here. If you want to bring yeah, a gun yeah, or two, that'd be awesome. All right, cool. I appreciate it, bro. Yeah, I'm gonna bring you some gun. That's how you make friends. Hola. Hello. Oh, you there? Uh, one second. Yep. I'll be there in a sec. I'm coming over here. Gotta hurry. Come on, I need to go to those shops here. Appreciate it, Bears. Have a good one. No problem. And I took a chance and it paid off. Oh, wow. What a champ! What a champ. Look at this. Tommy, this. <laughs> and they say there's no nice people in Rust. Yo. Hello. Yeah, what's up? A few minutes later, he came back with even more loot. What's up? <laughs> Here, I got something for you then. More crude oil. I'm gonna go back over there, <laughs> and whatever I get, I'm gonna come bring it back to you. Sounds good, Bears. Appreciate it. Sadly, our friendship was short-lived. I never did see Bears that easy question mark again. And so, this is a tribute to his generosity. If you're out there, Bears, you will never be forgotten. As I mentioned before, I created an electric jump puzzle that had a timer on the door. I did warn everyone on the info board. Oh, look at you. If you ask my opinion, technically they trapped themselves. <laughs> you have it. <laughs> cool. Now we're trapped. <laughs> You wanna like open the door, man? <laughs> yeah, you get comfortable, bro. I mean, does anyone read instructions anymore? Yeah. <laughs> if there was like a shop for it here, and you could like trade me the DB, then I would like, open the door, but. This guy trapped you in here, this naked kid? 
this open the door? No, I hit those two buttons and then this door opened and I came in here because there was loot in this little <laughs> box in here. And then the door closed. Well, well, if you'd be honest with me, maybe I could let you out, but <laughs> this, with these lies, I can't really trust you. Well, dude, it's, it's clearly a DV. Like, go and hit those buttons. And <laughs> Honestly, I was loving every moment of this. Watching these two guys argue over and over was so amusing. And then I came up with a genius plan. If I flip those two switches, the door would open. Wanna guess what I did? Oh, oh, watch this, watch this. <laughs> oh, I couldn't help myself. Well, that was, uh, unfortunate for him. Eventually, through my traps and some good old-fashioned PvP, I got enough to run an event. But... there was some action nearby and I just can't help myself. I have to get more loot. Damn, there's fucking three. There were people all over, so I stood in the shadows and waited for the right moment. Dude, there's scrubs everywhere. <laughs> oh, I got him. Now, if there's one thing I've learned, it's to wait a bit after you kill someone. No reason to rush right into it. They're not going anywhere. I mean, fuck it, I gotta try to get it. And <laughs> holy shit, I got a good one. Yeah, I know, I could have stayed and maybe made some more plays, but I needed a big win, and this was it. Fuck yeah! Let's go! <laughs> oh, you scared the shit out of me! Oh! <laughs> Damn! <laughs> I didn't grab everything, but fuck it, I just grabbed what I could. <laughs> Not too bad. <laughs> Next time on My Rust Monument. What is the story okay. with Gevi Spevy? I mean, my friends got raided. Oh, I don't right. really know. Two. One. one. Who will come out on top in our first ever 1v1 Battle Royale? <laughs> and what has Cognito got himself into? This and much more! I'm gonna try this one again, okay? I'm gonna let you out. We need to come up with a good joke, okay? Okay. Is that fair? Yes.
What right. do you call a suicide bomber on wheels? What? An RCXD. You're staying in there. 